Now, if you clicked on here, you're probably wanting to know about Fiederland's stopwatch and clicker, which you can attach to your box. Here it is. Well, it's time for another honest review on first time fishing. Roll the titles. Hi you guys and welcome to First Time Fishing with me, Big Bird. Now, thank you so much to all of my subscribers. Every single little one of you, you, you're making this channel what it is. And you're keeping me going. So, this one's for you guys. So, Feederland, stopwatch and clicker. Well, well, some of you, I can hear you now, I can hear you now. Oh, why would you buy that? You know, oh, it attaches to your box, you know, but, you know, I can pay... I can pay a fiver for a clicker. I can I can just get a stopwatch for a fiver, ten or I'm done. I completely agree. However, you're a bit of a tackle tart. You might like the thought of one of these. It's from Feederland, and you know what? Some of the stuff that they do is brilliant. They've just released um one of their uh, like a feeder arm, uh, and Steve Ringer's been using it, um, and he's been singing the praises for it. So it's so stable. However, Feederland. There they are. This has had very mixed reviews with me. And this is a bit of a first on first time fishing. Normally I'm singing the praises of everything that I've bought and trialed and, and stuff like this. And you know, I think it's very hard to buy poor tackle these days. However, if you're actually looking to buy one of these, you're probably gonna think it's 54.99. 54, not 54 99 for a stopwatch and two clickers. <sighs> It ain't worth 54.99 just saying it ain't worth it it really ain't yes you can move you can move your little doll you can put it at whatever angle you want that's great but basically this part that attaches to your leg they'll make in either a, uh, a 25 a 30 or a 36 depending on what sort of box you've got they say that this hang on let me just check exactly what they say so they say it's a high quality durable device. Would I say it's high quality? One thing that you're gonna be thinking is when you buy this for 54.99, is you're gonna be expecting it to be well made. Now, I don't know if this is what the future entails, but basically if I hold it close enough, can you see the ridges on it? Oh, look at that, there you are. It's 3D printed. They've used plastic 3D printing to create this. Now, if I'm paying 54.99, don't really expect it to be 3D printed. I'd expect them to come up with a product. You know, it's made to. Well, it's just not 3D printed. I can't. I can't think of the amount of things I've bought that's 3D printed. Really, apart from little cheap accessories you buy for cameras and stuff, or little little camera holders or phone holders or something. Don't expect it for a fifty-four ninety-nine. And they've like they've stuck the little badge on there. They've stuck this on here, given it a nice little blue on here, and then they've put their little little trademarks like signatures in there. But you know what? Quite disappointed. However, does it do what it's supposed to do? Yes, it does. It clicks. However many pounds whatever weight or fish you've got in your in your in your keep net you can use two uh, so you can do two keep nets at a time it simply resets just like so and you know this stopwatch yeah it's made in germany great it's got um it's got a film on the front it says it's an extremely durable film uh to keep it waterproof i can already see bubbles coming in it and i've only used it two months so what you can do is you can literally Build up your seconds, just like that, press start. And then as it comes down, you get a little noise. That's okay, great. Just literally click both of them to reset. Or you can just press start time. If you chuck the feeder out or something like that, watch the time tick by. Or if your bites are coming at three minutes, you know, you're gonna be able to, you're gonna be able to look and then it simply just stop and then just reset. It works, but, but guess what? So do these. And, and that cost me a tenner. So it's a bit fancy. 
is it necessary no is it nice just having it there yeah yeah it is um it's nice just having it right right next to you on on the leg you know you, you're not going to lose it but here comes the nitty gritty so i've used and abused it for two months this left one this left clicker i reset it the one day and it stopped it kept turning 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 this worked but it kept turning, turning, turning. So I contacted Feederland. And I said, I bought this off you a month ago and already a clicker's broken. They went, right, can you tell us which clicker it is? I said, yeah, it's the left side because obviously it's you know got to be switched around because of your reset. And they went, right, uh, can you tell us exactly what's wrong with it? I was like, uh, it's just broken. It won't reset. All oh, right, no problem. Yeah, we'll send you a new one out. And then I thought, okay, didn't hear anything back. Nothing arrived two weeks later. So I messaged him and I was like, any chance of the clicker? Because I've only got one that's in use. And they went, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we will. Yeah, we'll send it out to you. What, so you haven't sent it out? And they're like, we're sending it out to you now. Right, okay. And then another two weeks went by. So it's been a month, a month, where I haven't been able to use my 54 pounds, 54 pounds, 99 pence, Feederland, stopwatch and clicker to its full capabilities. Pretty much a month to the day of letting them know about it, Clicker arrived in the post. Not one, two. So they did send me two, but you know what? A lot of these companies, like when you buy stuff, you don't necessarily mind if things go wrong. That's fine. It's a bit of an inconvenience, but you don't really mind. The thing that you do mind is how they deal with it. If something goes wrong at my tackle shop, I take it in, they go, no problems, we'll sort it, no problem, here's a new one. Or, you know, oh, not an issue, I'll contact the supplier, have one of ours and we'll, we'll order another one in. It's not an issue. This was an absolute ball ache. Like, to the point, I wouldn't recommend it. Simple as that, I wouldn't recommend it. I just, if anything's going to go wrong with it, you're going to have a headache. And that's not what you want when you're buying stuff. Is it worth 54.99? No. Is it durable and well made? It's probably durable. It's not really what I would class as well made when I look at my Preston stuff or Matrix stuff. I wouldn't say it was well made. I'd say there's a lot, a lot to go with it. I'd call it a Mark 1 and we need to wait for the Mark 4. But if you do want something that sits on your box, just there, it ain't going anywhere. You want your clickers available, you want your timer there. Maybe you're, a, maybe you're just a feeder fisherman. Is it easier? It is. It is slightly easier. It is. Are you going to lose it? No, you're not going to lose it. Is it going to last your lifetime? Absolutely not. If you're going on how it's worked for me for the first month. Is it useful? Yes, it's useful. So ultimately, would I recommend it? No. Would I recommend the customer service? Even though it's rectified eventually? No. No. I'm, I'm, I'm not that impressed with the customer service, to be honest. That's the feeder land, stop watching clicker. So in summary, I'm not going to come on here I'm, and I'm not going to say something's amazing if I've bought it and it's not. You know, you might have a different experience with it and it might be something that's for you. It's, you know what? Being brutally honest, it's a fantastic idea. Really needs tweaking and the price needs to come down. But it is a fantastic idea. Feederland have got it right with the idea. Might be a few other tackle companies that sort of jump on board with this idea, but we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, thank you so much for subscribing and thanks for watching the video. Keep safe out there um, and tight lines. Mm -hmm.